Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, it is the day after Easter, um, and we have some work to do. Um, I went out and I went to Wick Street Vinyl. It's my favorite local vinyl stand. And I purchased some items that I needed for projects, as well as um, just some extra goodies that I already had and new colors of like puff and brick and things like that. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you all how I store my vinyl. Um, just because at times I can have a lot and that definitely um, a lot of different materials, not just, you know, easy weed or regular. It's I got glitter, glitter puff. I got flock. I got um, different um, holographic. We have, um, I don't know, like I said, different products require different temperatures and sometimes they look the same even though they're totally different. So I don't know what works for you all. This is what I'm figuring out works for me. First of all, I keep all of my... Um, permanent vinyl separately um my mom is awesome at organizing so she came and organized my office for me so this is how i store and then let me see, see another one this is how i know it's permanent okay i used to have a bunch and i cut down because i'm like okay apparel is my main thing but i do keep a little just because also scraps I used to keep them in, in like a little uh, freezer ziploc bag and then I switched that <laughs> because it became excessive and I cannot throw anything away sometimes uh, just needing a little bit to to save a letter or uh, that you might have ruined during weeding or just the tiniest details that really come together or sometimes you just want to test out things I don't know I can't throw away my scraps I don't know who can so they're still in that Ziploc bag, and then it's some even on top of that, okay? That's how the scraps are stored. I also roll them up and put them in this. I'm not sure if my mom, what my mom got this for, but I'm like, that looks like a good idea to me. And then I also have a couple of these. Okay. Now you can mount these to the wall if you wanted to, um, but I just have mine sitting on a shelf. And also, if you can see behind me, um, I have this, and that's great because I think it holds like 25 rolls on the front and then the same on the back. So right now, the front is pretty filled, and those items are pretty filled, so I figured this would be a good idea to pretty much show y'all how I tag and then I'm going to go ahead and um like right uh, I'm probably going to try to put it in whatever category works best as far as like glitter or regular but first thing first I try to all especially if I'm working with new materials I always try to keep like the invoice or the receipt or something like that so I'll know for a little bit, like, okay, this color was what? This color is blah, blah, blah. And sometimes I'll just keep this in my records. So I'll keep that in my filing cabinet divider thing that I have. So I have just some plain um, painter's tape or, yeah, I use I, one of these. I usually just break, I'll roll it, break off a piece and write whatever the material is on this. So once I do that, I find, like I said, the nice place to put uh, put it up, and that keeps everything nice and tidy. I don't know about y'all, but my workspace is pretty tiny, so keeping everything functional is key. All right, so I'm gonna roll the majority of these up. Well, first of all, let me show you how to do it, just so I don't lose track. So I know right now, because I purchased it not too long ago, that this is um easy weed. So I'll just go ahead and write on here, easy weed. And I know that seems silly, but this is the same kind of density as puff, you know? So it cuts down the confusion. Mm, I automatically will press something like this 
um, I don't like holographic anyway, so I usually won't write it, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to just write electric. Yep. So I'll roll a couple of these up and then I will come back. Um, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit. On their larger worlds, I tend to find like a little rubber band. And then I'll write whatever it is. And then. Do y'all have an easier method for doing you guys's? If you do, let me know. How do you store your vinyl? Because I know before I had a method, it was everywhere. And when things got crazy and I needed help <clears throat> to complete certain orders, and I'm trying to explain to everyone, like, oh, okay, no, that's that's not this type of vinyl. I keep this type of vinyl over here and this over here. Like, it was just chaotic. Nobody knew what was going on. one because this one is black reflective and I have the reflective that when it reflects it's um like multicolor and whatnot kind of like this so I have that one or whatever I have the silver I've had the gray I've had the white so I'm excited for this one I still just got a little sample of it just to see but if I love it I'm buying a lot more So I definitely have to try this one out because this, when I ordered it, said yellow. And I actually thought they gave me the wrong color, but they said it presses lighter. Um, it looks as orange as can be right now. Um, so that'll be interesting. So when I when I uh, tag this, um, just because I don't want to get off, off track, I will put test. You know, I'll put like test question mark. That's telling me to test it before I use it. But if I do that now, then I might love it. And then I'm probably going to want to make something right then and there and get all off task. And I got work to do. <laughs> also, these two are cool because this is glow in the dark, but in the dark it glows blue. And then this is also glow in the dark, but in the dark it glows white. Okay, so that's what everything looks like, all tagged and labeled. Let's see what this glow, if that shows up. It might be one of the ones that you have to wait until it's pressed. Um, yeah, it's probably one of the ones you have to wait till it's pressed before um, it reflects. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, it's just a short video on how I um, organize my vinyl. And I'll come back and show you pictures once I store it. Um, I'm going to store it um, based on the material, you know. Like, so if it's the holographics, I'm going to try to keep that over there with the holographics. The puffs, try to keep that over there with the puffs. Um, but depending on if I have the space to do so, um, I'll probably just put it on the other side of... Um, of this rack right here so like I said it has a ton of space on the back so I'm probably just gonna uh, build on this side all right well thank y'all for staying tuned